Hi guys. I am going to play around some more with my airbrush and putting some colors down on the board. This is just spray painted uh, cradle board. And I did a blue one. So if you haven't seen that video yet, look for that one. It's either going to be after this one or before this one. But um, the blue one, I just taped the bottom. And then I ended up having to like wipe the sides because I was playing around with the idea of not putting a base coat on and then just blowing some paints with my airbrush. So it's kind of like a dry Dutch pour, I guess. Um, but this time I'm going to do green, which is not my favorite color. But a lot of people like green. But I taped the sides. So because I don't, because the board's dry, and I don't have a base paint, it won't, it didn't go over the sides very well. So um, this time I just decided just to tape the sides. And uh, then only have to worry about the top. So I have mixed up some colors from Color Art Primary Elements. Um, I am using Peacock Feather, uh, Spiced Pumpkin, uh, this is the Peacock Feather, Spiced Pumpkin, uh, Sea Goddess, Spanish Moss, and Mystique, which is like a, a blue-green shift. Super pretty. And then I'm using some of this uh, Folk Art Dragonfly Glaze. It's a sh color changing violet blue green shift. I've never used it before. Um, but I mixed it with some vivid enamel and polycrylic. All of these are mixed with vivid enamel and polycrylic. I will also be using the Deco Art 24 karat gold. And maybe some interferences. Interference gold, blue, violet, and then carbon black mixed with Floetrol. So, those are my colors. And... I will. Some of these colors you can't really. This is the peacock feather. Gorgeous. Spiced pumpkin. that. These primary elements, I know I say it all the time, and y'all are probably tired of hearing it. This is the Sea Goddess. But these are colors that you get like in resin, you know? You hardly ever get, you don't ever get, not hardly ever, you never 
get these kind of colors, this kind of vibrancy in acrylic paint. This is the Spanish Moth. Yeah. Gorgeous. And then this one is the Mystique. It's very green, blue, purple, shifty. Kind of like a thalo green, thalo blue. And then this is that dragon glaze. I don't know how this is going to work out. Looks like it's got glitter in it. But we'll see. All right. So that is the up close and personals of my colors. So, I know that I've been doing resin a lot on my channel lately, so I wanted to do some acrylics again, and I just haven't been inspired, I guess. I don't know. I do want to try that color split Dutch pour that Tammy and Canella have been doing. I want to try that, but I want to get the right canvases for it, though. So until then, I'm going to try to see if the, I don't know, I don't even know what to call it, the dry Dutch pour, I guess a dry, I don't know, paint blow out with my air gun, <laughs> the dry Dutch pour. Anyway, so I'm just going to lay some colors down. I think I'm just going to go like this and like this, same as before. Um, but I think I'm going to like layer them a little bit different instead of laying them all on top of each other. I might like just put like spots. You know? We don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to start just by getting my area that I want. So because I don't have to worry about the sides, it's better. All right, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna do like some instead of lines, just like some some spots. Man, it is hot as balls in this studio today. It's so weird because it's usually so hot or so cold down here so just gonna do some areas i don't know how this is gonna work Just laying some colors down. I'm hoping it like gives it some sort of like a black color look, you know? Like I said, I haven't really been super inspired, so this is like kind of all over the place because I have, you know how you get too many ideas in your head? 
yeah, that's where I'm at right now. So I just mixed up just a little bit of these colors. Because you don't really need a whole lot because I'm just going to blow in this area and this area and I'm hoping to leave at least, I'm going to blow it out a little bit here and I'm hoping at least to leave a little bit of negative space. So I want to get like my greens down first. And then put the contrasting colors. In. And I know this is like all over the place, different color greens, but because they all have a bit of a color shift interference to them. I think it will all be just fine because every one of the color art colors they just seem to really, really go good together. And I do have like a regular phthalo green that I may put in here just to, because all of these are shimmery. So. It's the Spanish moss. Oop. It's coming over onto my white a little bit. I think I'm going to put a little bit of my regular Artist Loft Thalo Green in here. It's a different consistency, so it's a little bit thinner. Just to have like one color of not super shimmery. So I hope everyone is doing well. This is the Bling It Interference Gold.
and I'm going to put the interference through. You know, I don't think I have, I don't think I have the interference green. I was looking for it because I swore I had it. But a lot of these colors are green blue anyway, so I think it'll be fine. Um, all right, let's add the spiced pumpkin. This is an amazing color. It's so warm. And I think it's going to be really good with this cup. Whoops, with this color palette. It does tend to take over somewhat, but when it takes over, it takes over like a boss, like boom, here I am. It's not too much, but I'm here and I'm going to make a statement. Certainly is a statement color. certainly is a statement color. All right, now this glaze. I don't know how this is going to act with primary elements, but I don't know. We'll see. This is all experimental. So on the blue one that I did, I don't want to put too much of that because I don't know what it's going to do. On the blue one that I did, I was really worried about the sides. And then I ended up, there just wasn't enough paint because I didn't do um, you know, I left the board dry. So that's the reason why I decided to um, tape them. That way I just have to worry about the top and that's it. All right guys, so now I'm gonna use some of the golden black, carbon black. Uh, I'm gonna put it right here where it was before. I'm just going to put it periodically. Um, this has got Floetrol in it, made with Golden Brand paint and Floetrol. Whoops, that was a whole bit of a lot. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to put this is pixie dust. And for real. 
It's so amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna blow it around. First, I'm gonna torch it. Yep, guess that torch is out of juice. I haven't gotten used to my new torch yet. So, it's pretty, uh, pretty powerful. All right. Here we go. Are going to fly all over the place and end up on my floor. I can see it happening. I'm gonna set them there because I let them dry and reuse them. All right. I think I'm gonna go out first. I'm sure that's going to happen a lot. <clears throat> I love this right here. I think I'm going to turn it so that it's easier for me to get to. All right, let's work on this side. I really got to learn how to turn my airbrush down. What's going on right here? Oh, don't need them falling in my paint. Thank you. 
Okay, I love how there's the dark black and it's mixed with the blue interference and it's looking purple and it's over here on this side too, so that's kind of cool. I don't like that perfect line there. trying to fix a perfect line and I made a perfect line. I do. That's better. Where that clump came from. All right. <clears throat> I want to kind of close the negative space just a little bit more, but I'm afraid I'm going to lose what I got. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and leave it because I don't want to lose everything that's going on. Yeah. It's so hard to put down an airbrush because you think it's like such a gamble. Because I think if I. This side seems bigger to me than this side. So it seems like this one should have to come up a little bit more. But no. Leave it be, Lisa. Leave it be. It's so hard. Just got to fill my torch real quick. And you're not supposed to use the torch right after you filled it. But I'm not used to this new one yet. I got some bubbles that are not 
popping with the torch and I'm wondering what it's from because the wood that I'm using it actually said it was actually from Hobby Lobby and it was already painted I just painted over it so I mean it was already primed and everything Maybe my torch was a little bit aggressive. Okay, guys. All right, I can't wait to see what this one and the blue one looks like when it is all resined. I like the way that it looks with just the, you know, the dry board. So let me take you in on a close-up. Hang on. Okay. So, do I have it zoomed all the way in? All right. Hang on. My ring light is being obnoxious. All right. So that spiced pumpkin, oh, it is a close runner up to my hot cinnamon. I just think it doesn't get used enough. And I love how the phthalo green, see it like right there? You can see like lines of the matte paint against all the shimmer. And then this is the black, but it looks very purple because of the blue interference. I'm not a fan of the greens, but the greens blue the green blues. Let me see if that's better for the lighting. I'll have to wipe that off that I got paint on that. And this is the other side. See how I got the black in there too. I see that dragonfly glaze, especially on the black. Ugh. These colors are gorgeous. And that's just a kaleidoscope of goodness. I got a bubble there too. All right, guys. So that's it for a dry Dutch pour. <laughs> so I will show this on an upcoming video when both the blue and the green one is dry and resined. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks for joining me. And if you are looking for a um, group to be in, see, because there's no base paint, it didn't flow over the edges nicely. So with the blue one, I ended up having to scrape the edges and I'm gonna have to paint them. But so then this one, I just went ahead and taped it so that when it's dry, I just pull it off and it's the solid color. So 
Anyway, if you're looking for a group to be in for acrylic pouring and or resin art, mixed media stuff, come join us on United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. I run that with Tammy Anderson. And we'd love to have you over there. And uh, again, thanks for joining me, guys. And I will see you later. Bye.